Hey folks, I'm Serene Glory, and welcome to part 110 of my playthrough as Man Morris in Crusader Kings 2. So in the last part, we finally managed to take this county here, get around to Holy War for it. Uh, and that was against... Uh, not him, or him, but this guy, Caliph Yaha, Yaya, 4th Sultan of Egypt. So, that was quite good. We've also signed up for a crusade against this guy. So he's only got 20,000 troops. <laughs> uh, but probably got a lot of friends coming in. And I also got a one-shot use of the Liberate Religion claim. So I've had a bit of a look around. And... The opportunity really would be in here somewhere. So with this I can declare war for the religious liberation of an area, say the Crimea, and if successful it becomes a tributary state under a, an independent uh, Christian king, Catholic king. So particularly having Crimea would be good. Ruthenia even. Prefer Crimea though. Or Thrace, uh, yes. So the only downside is that, as you can see, if I use it against him and his war concludes, then our war concludes as well. And that's whether he wins or loses. So I'm going to hold off on that because I, I do like the idea of getting the Crimea, particularly if it's the whole of the Crimea. Uh, the leader in here, Padisha in I, 40,000 troops, 28,000 come from, Le uh, from vassals. So his vassals, yeah, quite a few sultans. So I'm going to wait. Once this revolt concludes, then we'll see what the opportunities are there for uh, liberating the Crimea. So my short term goal then is going to have to be something different. And Croatia is one potential target, Byzantine Empire is another. We've got some claims available there. Tributary State. Uh, I don't think we can do that. Oh, we can. We're big enough to make them a Tributary State. Two and a half thousand men. King of Italy wouldn't come in. So that's an option. Here's communicated driller. Hmm. Doesn't give us any territory, so I'm not really that interested in that. Get de jure claims, border disputes. Tributary state potentially. The guy's young enough that it should last, but then I'm not. I'm going to die soon. I should look to my ear, make sure that's sorted out. Serdika. Uh, what can I get from you? There's some claims again for those people. Tributary state. You can even make your tributary state. What's your. Hmm. Okay, but again, tributary state, I'm 69. I would need to wait for my heir to fight that war. What are the disputes? Okay. Yep. 
like that. It's fairly big. I think I like the idea of that. You're not in any wars right now. There's nine hundred. I think we have to go for this then. Right. Claim. It wasn't a de jure claim, was it? No, it was. Um, what else are, is there? Too small. Yeah, reasonable. Let's see this. Take everything held by Basilius Constantinus of Byzantine. So in here. So is there anything that's actually held by Basilius the Fourth? Yeah, I don't know. I'm a bit confused by that. I don't want to fight a war in here. Not only if, I only want to do it if I'm going to get the three territories, three drop, uh, counties. <sighs> not very clear. If we win the war, Emperor Vlad vassalizes or takes everything held by Basilius, Count of Byzantine. In that duchy. So, no, that's not worth it either. Okay, let's get a move on. And go back to checking out the heirs. Okay. These other guys. Uh, I think I still prefer my. Is it my son? My grandson. That's right. His father died. His father was the Great White Hope. If that's not a racist term. Um, and he died. I think about age 50. Oh! There we go. Emperor Vlad I has given up the ghost at age 69. He died of cancer. A disturbed person, Vlad was known throughout his lands as a raving madman. Many are cautiously rejoicing at the news of his death. No mention at all of everything that I did for the Carpathian people. Emperor Vlad II and XII, blessed with awesome knowledge of all things between heaven and earth, Vlad XII's rule is sure to be legendary. Long live Emperor Vlad II and XII. So be it. Alrighty, so let's check the treasury to start with. I'm not too bothered about plus two learning. And plus one stewardship. Don't really need that. Well, having said that, we are or limit in domain size. No, 9 out of 10. Why does it say 9 out of 9? Moving statue, Ian calligraphy. Technology spread rate, plus 3 learning. Plus 2 stewardship and plus 2 learning. Just his build cost. No, I think we'll go with the magnetic compass. My ancestor invented. Alright, uh, Grimanier. Yeah, that's 
What? No, hang on. <laughs> I thought it was his son, but it's his uncle. Okay, so you're still looking to groom an ear. Fine. Business focus. Yeah. Okay, I think I'm happy enough with that. Not lead armies. Because I'm a coward that way. Arbitrary and stubborn. But you're a genius. Wife's not a genius. Okay, let's get a move on. Sort out our council. Chancellor. We need to find. Marshal. Um, I think we're going to bring in a marshal. Spymaster. You've dropped from 15 before. 46. Yeah, you can be our court chaplain though. And as usual, get on the tech research. So we need a chancellor and a marshal. I think we've got decent... No, we don't. Where's the... Uh, we brought in a guy and then married him to my granddaughter or something like that. And he disappeared off from under our... out from our court. So... Search all men diplo range willing to join who are adults. And... What I'm looking for. Let's invite you to court. And I think. Oh, well, you're 55, you're a bit old. Let's invite you as well. Uh huh. The marshal. Invite you to court. And. We're bringing the Prince of Sicily as well. Any siege leaders around? There's a 19 year old siege leader. It's pretty rubbish. They both are, so I don't think I'll bother with that. And I wanted to also have a look in here. You come to court too. Alright, we'll deal with that later. I need to nominate a successor. Let's just go with Radu for now. Same there. Set our crown focus and marmorous. Guess with discontent, that's fine. Ruler uncrowned. Organise a coronation ceremony. We've 863 gold, so only the Pope is good enough. Uh, let's release all the prisoners. Minor titles, designated regent. Yep, king of Magyar, court physician, and there. We'll hold on to the rest. What do we have? We have commanders. Space for three, but we've got these guys coming in, so I'll hold off for now. Welcome. Can Tataman the Black has declared Cat? Did you not declare war in Croatia a couple of days ago? Right, okay. So, Chancellor. That doesn't matter. I'm not looking to change any laws or anything at the moment. 
the marshal. Well, this will go with you. Research you take for me, please. And we really don't want to get a claim. Yes, it's going to have to be in there. Don't like this. That's my land, obviously. The river's the boundary. Okay. Yeah, I wanted to check out the commanders. Yeah, you've got to be one. Um, Strictors not fantastic. Hmm. You do allow narrow flank. You can be one as well. We've got one siege leader. Anybody else with... There we go, we've got an administrator. Right. To Emperor Vlad VII of Carpathia, I shall be glad to recognise your divine right to rule as soon as you prove your devotion to the Catholic faith by waging war against a most impious ruler whose wickedness made worthy of excommunication from... Oh, excellent. Uh, yes. Croatia. Bye-bye. I will bring this sinner to justice. The road forward is clear. I must depose the corrupted Khan Tataman from his throne in order to earn my crown. Only once this war has been won will I be able to continue with the preparations for my anointment. Right. So. We can't raise anything like the troops that we could before. But that's okay. Uh, where's his capital? Down here. Right. Let's head for there. Or I could smash this army straight away. You go in there, and you go there. And I think we'll let that go for now. I want to make sure I've got plenty of cash available for the coronation ceremony. And also prosecuting this war. Okay. We'll deal with that in the way past. The cursed infidels. Head for there. And... No. Let's merge you. Go and hit them. It is good tradition to have some gossip around a pregnant woman in order to keep her calm and distracted from the tribulations of this delicate time in her life. Yes, familiar faces around you. Right. What have you going to Timus for now? Hmm. leading there. What sort of territory have we got? Plains, okay. Heavy foot troops we've got 2,200 of, so yeah. You can lead there. Sergio. I don't know why you're a commander. Narrow flank, yep, you can go in there. Okay, so we don't have the leader that used to give us the bonuses in planes, etc. Well, I'll just use you. 
and I think we're just going to go in and hit them. Two and a half thousand light infantry, thousand light cav, and 1500 archers. Mm. We're going to rely on the heavy infantry then, if we go in, which we shall. It's only rebels. My wife asked me to buy her some new clothes. Because of the pregnancy, she has outgrown most of her wardrobe, and now she feels frustrated for not having anything nice to wear whenever she needs to make an appearance at court. Ah, uh, okay. Doesn't even know what that was, but... It'll be fine, I'm sure. Where are we going here? Yeah, we're done. Excellent. I think they did route my left flank there, but never mind. We have the victory. Let's march to there. So we can bring you down. Ah, daughter was born. Okay, your focus is going to be on pride. Let's get this army on the move. Yes, I won against the revolting Carpathians. As is tradition, my wife underwent her churching after recovering. How wonderful. Uh, yeah, that is still the creation capital in there. Is this held by Bosnia? Well, let's march in anyway and see what they have. The Italians. Okay, yeah, the Italians were allied to the Croats as well. You're going to arrive in Donju Kraji on the 8th of March. So we just stay put. You're heading for split. Okay, then we'll head in there then, since you're marching out. And who's this? Don't know. But we'll take them out anyway. Arrange betrothal. Um, French revolt. No. My aunt, the king of Sicily. Yes. I'll accept that gladly. Now, can I get any holy orders to help? None available. Is actually in this war. It's Italy. Okay. It's a host. Did I get a siege leader? Again, that's you. Well, actually, I suppose it'd be better to have you here. Siege down the capital. I'll just leave it at that. Okay, they're heading off. So, we've not made too much progress. Let's get in there. What's this? Oh, yeah, 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 okay. That was the other war that was going on. Dear Emperor, during your wife's recent visit to Bordeaux, a wonderful idea. Let's 
merge them, send them in there. I'm going to wipe out both of those armies. Before I go in, I don't want you in charge of this one. I want you back in charge. I don't care about the bishoprics. After I told Margaret it was time to head on home, she looked at me with a grin on her face and told me to race her, leaving me to carry everything on, her, on my own. Yes, you can get playful. Okay, they broke our centre. But never mind, we did for them. And we've captured a duke. This is not quite so good. You're heading for split. We're we going to pull out of there. Never saw 15,000 Italian troops when you were supposed to be my allies. Okay. Let's pull back here for now. Hmm. Form alliance. Good. Form alliance. Good. Thank you. Excommunicated driller, you must join that fight or the Pope won't be happy. Accept my proposal for an alliance. Good. Okay, so they're going to they're probably head for my capital. So let's pull back up to Marmaris and I can recruit some mercs if need be. But I think I'm going to put in a break here. Oh, yeah, fight everybody on the way past if you like. Um, yeah, so we're going to, I'll put in a break. We'll pick this up next time out. Uh, so for now, thanks for watching. Please leave me a comment, rate the video, and subscribe to the channel if you enjoy the content. And I hope to see you again next time. Cheers.